Sid, a little help, something, anything here, please? Well, Woody, it just so happens we are here with head professional and director of golf instructions, Guna Kunjan, here at Harbor Links Golf Course. Guna, thanks for coming on the program. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me on the program. Hey, before you teach Woody how to shoot a bunker shot, give us an idea about Harbor Links. What makes this course great? Golf course was built in 1998, about 12, 13 years old. It's just starting to mature. Uh, it's an easily accessible public golf course, one of the premier golf courses around. It's a Lynx golf course, that means there's not too many trees around. And it's suitable for people of all levels to play golf. They don't get lost in trees and woods all the time. So it's, it's a, a forgiving golf course. Uh, it's also very accessible to everybody. And so talk, we not only have an 18-hole golf course, but we all have, also have a 9-hole. Talk about the executive course as well. We have a 9-hole executive golf course, uh, which is basically for people who are beginning kids and older people who can't afford or walk or play the 18-hole golf course. We also have in that facility uh, an 18-hole uh, uh, mini golf and also uh, four soccer fields. So it's a huge facility just before you get to the main uh, golf course up here. Well, that sounds lovely. And later you'll give our crew a first-hand look in a golf cart or one of our new golf carts here at Harbor Links. But now, Guna, why don't you get in the bunker and show us how to hit a proper golf shot. Absolutely. Thank you. The most important thing when you get into a bunker is to use the bounce. This is called the bounce of the club. Mm -hmm. Woody went into the sand with this leading edge, this sharp edge of the club, and he digs into the ground. And there's no more speed, so the ball doesn't get a chance to get out. If you bounce it at the bottom of the club, which is the bounce, it ejects sand and ball. You hit ball first. Uh -huh. all right? We want to hit sand, about two inches of sand only. I'm going to demonstrate to you how to do this, if you want to step aside. and Absolutely. I'll try and hit the ball there for you. Not a very difficult shot, but very intimidating. Because you're in sand, there's a little bit of a lip here. The, the problem with a lot of amateurs is they want to try and help it up. You really don't want to help it up. Right. If you hit the sand, the ball sitting on it, it'll come out by itself. Huh? I'm going this way then. I'll go that way. Okay, okay. Yeah, I want to go this way. Yeah. So you want to try and thump it, all right? I'm going to go to this close fl flag for you, Uri. Okay. Just try and thump the sand and it'll just come out, huh? Like that. Guna, question about golf. Okay. What is more difficult, dealing, teaching about the frustrations of the game or the actual physical game itself? I think the frustration of, uh, of, of the game is a little bit more to deal with because I'm not a psychiatrist or a psychologist. Mm -hmm. I can teach you the physical aspects of it. Right. Mentally, I have a tough time dealing with it because I really don't know exactly mm -hmm. how to figure out what you're thinking mm -hmm. or what your feelings are. Uh -huh. so Anybody me, ever get out of hand and break a club? Yeah, I've had yeah. a few. Yeah, yeah. I have the few uh -huh. occasions. Yeah, Do you know if Sid Nathan was one of them who did no, that? No, not really. He was one of those uh, little bit more patient kind of characters. How is he as a golfer? He's pretty good, actually. He yeah, he's a pretty he decent is? golfer. Yeah, he is. I, I'm yeah. much better than him, but we'll discuss that at another time. Okay, Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, I right. can do that. You can't do that. You want to see it? Yeah, I want to see it. Okay. I'll step over there right now, watch. 